So you think about making a move to the St. Louis area. We absolutely love St. Louis, but it's not perfect. Today we're talking about 10 negatives that you definitely need to consider before making that move to the St. Louis area. Let's get started. Hey there, my name is Jeff Schoonover and I want to thank you for taking the time to check out this video. If you're new to the channel, it's all about moving to and living in St. Louis and surrounding suburbs. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon so that you can keep up to date on the current real estate market here in the St. Louis area. And hey, we're here to help. If you're looking to relocate to the St. Louis area, whether it's been a few days or a few months, please don't be a stranger. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or email us anytime. We love helping viewers like you make a smooth and pain-free move to the St. Louis area. Without further ado, let's talk about some of the negatives of living in St. Louis right now. So is St. Louis friendly? I think St. Louis is a very friendly place, but sometimes it may not always seem like it for folks moving to the area. It's a city that tends to have a small town attitude and a small town feel. What does that mean? Well, a lot of people that live in St. Louis are from St. Louis. They've built their group of friends in their social sphere, in many cases since their school days. Where did you go to high school is a very common question that people ask each other. So for a newcomer to the area, in some cases it may feel like it's a bit harder to make friends in a place like St. Louis. Now obviously that's very much a generalized statement, but just something to keep in mind. Honestly, if you move to St. Louis, I think you'll meet a ton of friendly people and have plenty of opportunities for a healthy social life. St. Louis, like a lot of other cities, unfortunately has its fair share of racial division and history related issues. From the Jim Crow era ordinances and racial housing covenants promoting segregation, to the social, economic, and racial separation of the Del Mar Divide. As a matter of fact, the St. Louis Association of Realtors, one of the largest and oldest in the country, issued an apology less than a year ago for its involvement in some of the history of these practices. To quote just one section of it, the discrimination to which the black community was subjected to was part of a system designed to cause residential racial segregation led by the federal government, supported by the banking system and the real estate industry, and driven by practices like redlining and the use of restrictive covenants. These policies resulted in dual housing markets for white and black families in the metropolitan St. Louis area. Now these practices are now obviously illegal and have been greatly reduced over the years, and the effects of the historical use of these discriminatory practices are still felt to this day in St. Louis and other cities. Unfortunately, the city of St. Louis has a 1% earnings tax. To quote their website, this tax applies to residents of the city of St. Louis regardless of the location of their employer and employees of businesses located or performing work or services within the city of St. Louis, regardless of where they live. This revenue generator for the city, while it does account for a large chunk of the city's income and provides a lot of services and improvements, can be a big deterrent for someone who's looking to live or work within the city limits. St. Louis does have its fair share of homelessness. This is not a condemnation or criticism of the homeless themselves. Many people go through hard times for a variety of reasons. I just think homelessness and the way it's handled could use a major overhaul countrywide, St. Louis included. No easy answers here, just an issue worth mentioning and one that St. Louis and other cities need to get better at handling. I'd say the St. Louis area in general is pretty spread out and not all that walkable. Although many areas and neighborhoods within the city of St. Louis are very walkable. As a matter of fact, St. Louis was recently nominated as the most walkable city in the nation. Some of these areas and neighborhoods include, but are not limited to, Benton Park West, Downtown, Tower Grove East, Soulard, Gravoy Park, just to name a handful. So what does walkability mean exactly? Well, it's simply just the ability to safely walk to services and amenities within a reasonable amount of time. If walkability is important to you, St. Louis City may be a great option for you. If walkability isn't as much of a concern for you, St. Louis does have a metro bus system and a metro link system. And we have a pretty solid highway system if a car is your main source of transportation. I'd even venture to say that St. Louis's traffic isn't all that bad, especially compared to some larger cities. You know, most cities and towns are going to have their fair share of challenges when it comes to crime. That being said, St. Louis has got a pretty bad rap over the years for its crime rates, and has even been labeled the murder capital of America in past years. Some people say these numbers are skewed due to St. Louis's size, its borders, and other factors. But hey, it's complicated. I've been doing real estate for 20 plus years in and around St. Louis. I've never had any personal safety issues. But like anywhere, things can happen and things do happen. But obviously these types of challenges aren't unique to St. Louis. Let's move on. St. Louis City and St. Louis County has had a trend of population loss over the years with the city getting hit especially hard. There are several reasons for that to include but not limited to loss of some economic opportunities, the development of farmland and outlying places such as St. Charles County. The aforementioned earnings tax in the city of St. Louis doesn't help either. It's a shame and I really hope that the trend reverses over the next few years. Because St. Louis City and St. Louis County for that matter have a lot to offer in a lot of cool areas and neighborhoods. Not to mention some interesting architecture, great restaurants, and one of the largest urban parks in America. 
So despite St. Louis having its fair share of major employers and very solid higher education options, according to bestplaces.net, the average household income in the city of St. Louis is below the national average. That being said, St. Louis County and St. Charles County both show above average household incomes. Despite the stats, I think there are plenty of well-paying work opportunities in the city of St. Louis and its surrounding areas. And I highly encourage you not to rule out the city of St. Louis proper as an option. There's a lot of great stuff happening there. In 1876, St. Louis City voted to secede from St. Louis County. Now, St. Louis County has something like 88 different municipalities. Some are very tiny as some municipalities are located within other municipalities. The inefficiency of this structure can affect the entire greater St. Louis region. In addition, there's incorporated, there's unincorporated. Many of these municipalities have their own police force, their own way of handling inspections and occupancy permits, their own tax rates, different ways of handling trash pickup. There has been talk by community groups and politicians about a possible city-county merger. The best way to handle the structure is complicated and beyond the scope of this video, but just something to keep in mind. The weather in St. Louis can be a roller coaster. The summers can be extremely hot and humid, and the winters can be very cold. Sometimes the temperatures can fluctuate by 30 degrees or more from one day to the next. If you enjoy these swings in temperature, St. Louis is a good spot for you. If you hate the cold or can't stand the heat, there may be better options than St. Louis. Also, if you suffer from bad seasonal allergies, St. Louis may be a tough place to live. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. All cities have their pros and cons. St. Louis isn't perfect, but we absolutely love it. I'd highly encourage you to make that move to the St. Louis area. Hey, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon so that you can keep up to date on the current real estate market here in the St. Louis area. And again, please don't be a stranger. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or email us anytime. We love helping viewers like you make a smooth and pain-free move to the St. Louis area. Thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and talk soon.